today I have first impressions and a side by side to do. I got a fragrance in from the house of Latafa and the fragrance is called Liam. Now, word of the grapevine, this fragrance is meant to smell very similar to a popular fragrance from the house of BDK called Grease Charnel. We're going to see if this one tallies up to the OG. Let's do it. Good YouTube, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. My name is Mikey Cologne, and thank you very much for tuning in. That is right, today we're doing side by side comparison to a fragrance from the house of Latafa. I believe this was Liam was released in 2023, if I'm correct. And like I say, it's meant to be close to Grishanel from BDK. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I say it a lot. And the reason why I do say it is a lot because I really do appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to watch my or takes their time to watch my reviews, put comments down. I love it. I love doing this and I'm going to continue to do so. And this is not a sponsored review. I do not get no money for this. But if you're interested in any fragrances from the house of Uniquey Luxury, go over to their website, get yourself a fragrance or two, put it in the bag, and when it gets to the coupon code, put in Mikey-Kute23. That will give you 15% off of your order. I don't earn no commission, no money. I don't get paid for doing this. The code is for use lot out there to save yourself some money on a Uniquey Luxuries website. Right, we're going to dive straight into this. If you know about Gris Charnel, to me it is a superb fragrance. The longevity could be better, but from the presentation down to the juice, it's a figgy sandalwood fragrance. It is a little bit fruity, it's creamy, obviously woodsy, got a soft bit of spice to it. A little bit of sweetness and as it dries down it tends to turn a little bit warmer and warmer and for me Grishanel is a unisex fragrance straight down the middle you can dress this fragrance up if you really want to but also it has a little bit of a cozy vibe to it because it has a tea accord in it but that is BDK's Grishanel. now we're going to take a look at Liam from Latafa from the bottle and we're gonna see what the juice is saying as you can see it is still sealed i'm gonna make a little bit of racket so i do apologize about the wrapper noise now i believe yep yeah, this is a hundred mil and i believe it is at the puff and concentration now hang on right And you've got a little, it's just the name of the fragrance in the house. And there is your bottle. Plain bottle. I mean, I suppose you get what you get from the tap sometimes. The cap is plastic. It looks metal, but it is plastic. It's got the Latafa on the top. Let's prime this bad boy. I'm going to spray it first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the atomizer. Not bad. I'm going to spray it on test strip and I'm going to spray Grishan out on test strip as well. Up in the air, it smells like it. It does. Right, let's get a couple of test strips out. Hang on. Right. Liam. That is going on left knee and I'm going to spray it on left hand as well now we're going to go with BDK's Grishan out I love these bottles and the caps are solid metal they've got some heft to them and the atomizers are beautiful on these bottles pressurized that you'll see
right. Grish Charnel on right. Liam from Latafa on the left. Right. There is definitely a difference. The scent profile is there, but doing a side by side, you can tell straight away which one is better. You can tell straight away which one is a lot better quality for starters. Grishanel is richer. I am getting that little bit of vanilla coming through with Liam. It is a little bit creamy, a little bit woodsy, soft, spicy. But the fig note in Grishanel here is a little bit green. It has an ever so slight bit of bite to it. Not of putting, not challenging, but way in the back. It does come off ever so slightly fruity, but it is coming off a little bit green and has a bit of bite to it. Whereas with Liam from Latafa, I'm not getting none of that greenness, so to speak, from the fig. The fig note is very, very light in Liam. I mean, very light. To me, it's more vanilla-y than what it is figgy. It is a little bit creamy. The scent profile is there, but then they are not the same. They are not the same. I'm not going to say at all, because as soon as I smelt that up in the air, Liam, I thought, that smells like Gris Charnel. Let me spray it again to get that opening. Slight bit of alcohol blast. A little bit of fig. Now, it's more vanillic and woodsy than what it is figgy. If that makes sense, whereas with Grishanel, everything's kind of nothing is overshadowing one another, like the sandalwood, that tea called the fig, the iris. Nothing really is jumping out too much, and Grishanel does have a powdery side. But with, I'm not really getting a lot of tea with the Latafa's Liam. It gives Grishanel like this, like I say, like a cosy, relaxed vibe to the fragrance. Very lightly, the fig is very light, the tea called very light. The whole fragrance, to be honest with you, is quite light. Like, like I said at the beginning of the review, Grishanel is not the longest lasting fragrance. It's moderate. But it's got more balls than what this Liam has from the Taffa. That is settled down very, very, very quickly. Whereas Grish Charnel is still radiating. Grish Charnel is more punchier. If you want a one-to-one -one clone, I'm putting it out there right now. Oh, it's not that close, to be honest down to the notes standing out, down to what I can pick up, down to how the quality's coming across, and I know it's an inexpensive fragrance. I forgot to mention, I believe it was 20 pounds for 100 mil, so it is an inexpensive fragrance, the Latafa is. And Grishanel is a niche fragrance. So the quality, they are gonna be different, but you can really tell it when you're doing a side-by-side. -side. I just wanna look up the notes in Latafa's Liam to see if they are the same or similar to Grisharnel. I forgot my tablet. Right, let's have a look. Let's go on Fragrantica because they always give the real notes. Sometimes they do and sometimes they're a little bit all over the place. Right, you've got the fig, cardamom and black tea up top, iris, labdanum and vetiver in the mid, and you've got vanilla, sandalwood, tonka and patchouli in the base. 
See, that vanilla is a base note, but I picked that up straight away. I can really, in Grease Charnel, it's always there in the back at first. And then the more it dries down, that vanilla does come through. But the vanilla here, is, the fig here is very, very light. The tea is very, very light. The cardamom is. The labdanum, I'm not really picking up too much of that. The vetiver, that's the woodsy side of things. Not really earthy, just a little bit woodsy. The iris in this makes it go a little bit powdery. Here again, that iris is very, very, very light. Whereas I can pick it up really easy in Gris Charnel. I don't know what to tell you, to be honest with you. Like I say, word of the grapevine was that this was very close or close to Gris Charnel. Do I think it is? In the opening, the scent profile was there. Now it seems like they're drifting apart. I don't think this is... I hate putting percentage on things. But if I was to put a percentage on this, first impressions on this fragrance, remember, I need to wear this a little while and give it some good wearings to see if anything does pop, to see if anything does change. But first impressions and put a percentage on it, I would say about 65 to 70% similar to Gris Charnel. But I mean, if you're on a budget and you can't afford Gris Charnel, maybe go with this or look for another alternative to Gris Charnel. But if you've got the money, go with Gris Charnel. Because Gris Charnel is a great fragrance. The X Straight is even better. I do need to get a full bottle of that. I did do a side-by-side -side comparison with the X Straight and the EDP. And the X Straight, to me, I prefer it to this. And I still love this fragrance. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is first impressions on Liam from Latafa. I'm sorry if I was a bit all over the place. I tried to explain it to where use lot can make sense of it. It's similar to Gris Charnel, but it's not a one-to-one -one clone. No way. Not at the minute anyway, it ain't. I wouldn't sit here and go, man, this is like 98% the same. Get this. Because I don't think it is, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Is it worth the £20 that I paid for it? Yeah, it is. But it's not that close to... Chris Charnel from BDK. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you've tried Liam from Latafa. Do you own Chris Charnel? Have you tried this? This is a beauty of a fragrance, no doubt about it. Smooth criminal it is. I appreciate everybody's support, and remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'll see you lot on the next one. Cheers.